Hello all, it is Dr. Entom here, and you are watching Introduction to Insects, General Info 2, Insect Life Cycles and Reproduction. Today, I will talk about the different stages of life for insects and how they reproduce. So, let's start with life cycles. All insects go through metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is defined in two ways the transformation of an insect or amphibian from an immature form to an adult form, or it could mean a change in form or nature. Insect metamorphosis can be further classified into hemimetabulous metamorphosis, or incomplete metamorphosis, holometabulous metamorphosis, or complete metamorphosis, and ametabulous metamorphosis, meaning that there is practically no change in form at all. Regardless of what metamorphosis an insect goes through, they all start from an egg and turn into a larva. Eventually, they all turn into adults, or omegos or omeganese. As omeganese, the insects live the rest of their life mating and egg laying. The life of an insect varies depending on their species, but once they become adults, most die soon after. Now, insects that go through incomplete metamorphosis go through immature stages called instars. Each time an insect molts, it goes from one stage of growth to another. Each succeeding instar looks more and more like their adult stage of life. The immature insect is known as a nymph. A nymph looks like an adult, except they lack sexual organs and wings. Insects like dragonflies, damselflies, mayflies, and stoneflies are aquatic insects and those immature stages are called naiads. The most common known life cycle is the complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The larva hatches from the egg, and it continues to go through instars until it becomes rather big. When it is big enough, it develops a final molt and becomes a pupa. Or, the last larval skin may harden into a puparium. Pupa do not eat, and although some can wiggle, most do not move and just wait for the next stage of life. When the adult emerges from his pupa stage, this is called eclosion. So, to simplify, hemimetabolous insects have three stages, egg, nymph, and omega. Holometabolous insects have four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and omega. Let's talk about reproduction. Insects, like most animals, are either oviparous, ovoviviparous, or viviparous. If an animal is oviparous, it means they lay eggs. Ovoviviparous animals lay eggs, but the eggs stay inside the mother when they hatch. If the animal is viviparous, the animal gives live birth, not with eggs. During the mating season between male and female insects, sexual reproduction is normal. Male gives sperm to female. The sperm is stored in a special sac on her abdomen. Depending on the insect, the female will lay eggs with her abdominal appendage, called an ovipositor, store the eggs inside her body, or grow the live animal inside her body. As the eggs are laid by oviparous insects, the eggs meet the sperm on the way out of the female in a tiny opening called the micropod. This fertilizes the eggs, and eventually the eggs will hatch to a baby larva. Now, sometimes there aren't a male and a female readily available. In these cases, insects will use a type of asexual reproduction called parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis is when an unfertilized egg will develop into an adult. This is usually common with aphids, bees, and wasps. In these cases, the adults are all female, and they can all keep cloning themselves until males are available to continue along the reproductive cycle. That's all for General Info 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Dr. Entom, and I hope to speak with you soon.